Hey guys, it's BattyMate here with another video today. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, make Dark Souls run better without screen tearing and other things like that. So let's right click on properties here in the Dark Souls on Steam. We go to location files. We want to know where the destination file is. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, we're going to to show you how to use it on a video graphics card because I don't have an AMD graphics card. I'm going to open up the video control panel like this. Just follow my mouse here. We're going to go to manage 3D settings. We'll go to program settings and over here and we'll click add. Um, so Dark Souls 3 doesn't come up in here for me. So we are going to browse and we're going to find these ones up here. So we're going to go to H drive and then we're going to go to Steam library, Steam apps, common, Dark Souls 3, which is there, and then we'll hit game. And we want to double click that one so it comes up in here. Once you're in here, you want to scroll all the way down on the right here, find this one, and we'll change it to on and hit apply. Um, once you have done that, uh, you can close this now. Close that. Um, if you have the game open, it should apply it with the game open. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you as well to slow down, I mean, to speed up your input, your input from like mouse or keyboard or even controller if you're using a controller on your computer. Um, the next thing I need you guys to know is, uh, yes, I'll open up MSI Afterburner. I must have closed it before. Open it up. Okay, it's open here. Uh, the real thing that we really need is Revertuna Statistics Server. Okay, we want to open up this one and we will add. Ah, we've got to find it again. So I forgot where it was. Uh, so for me, for me, it's going to be on H, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. <laughs> Dark Souls 3, game, Dark Souls 3. And now we've added Dark Souls 3 up here. We want to make sure it's on Dark Souls 3. We want to see the frame time or frame rate limit. Frame rate limit needs to go down to 60. I'll make it 60. Okay, so once you make your frame limit 60, you should be right in Dark Souls 3. It should feel more responsive. You shouldn't get screen tearing now because you've done the the changeover. And uh, yeah, it actually feels not too bad. So you can go and kill a few people just to show you it's working. I did die here before. I was trying to parry these guys, but sometimes they attack really fast. Sometimes they attack really slow. And it's hard to tell whether they're going to do that really fast or really slow attack. Okay, I'm going to go and try and kill this lizard. The, the um, lizard dude at the start of the game. Uh, if you want to watch it, you can. Don't have to. See how well I go here. Oh. I don't know. Let's see how we go here. Come on, big blizzardy man. I'll slap you. Come on, mate. Got to be careful with this guy. He cannot like one hit me if I'm not careful. He's gonna roll. 
Oh, are we staggered him? Yes. Oh, I might get him first go on here. Maybe. Ooh, I thought he was going to roll. If he rolled, I would probably have been dead. So get out of his way. Go and slap him after he's finished rolling. Or he try to bite me. Okay. We staggered him again, and now he's dead. I think I done well that time, guys. I think I done really well. Uh, I only use one pot. Yeah, it's um really responsive. Um, yeah, I'm actually really impressed with with the way this uh, river tuna um, thing is working. And I'm not getting distracted by... Usually when you go upstairs anywhere, you'd normally see the V-Sync thing not working properly. Like, you mostly see, like, screen tearing, and it's like a bunch of lines at the bottom of your screen that, like, appear and disappear and appear and disappear. Which is really, really annoying, but at the moment I don't see any of that happening. Because we've got V-Sync turned on in the NVIDIA control panel. And it makes a huge difference. Alright, we got to the first bonfire. Uh, who wants to see me try and fight the first boss of this area? Uh, we'll level up here. Oh, I can't level up. Okay. Who wants to see me fight the first boss of this area and get to the... Well, let's see if we can even beat him. I don't even know if I can. Screw all the items. They're all useless items here anyway. Uh, let's go. Boss fight, here we come. I am the fire dude, so it's sort of cheating, I guess. Oh, I don't have a fire bomb. That's all right. Probably want to aim at him. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage. Let's see how I go here. Whoa. Now, I think in like one more hit, he'll um, transform into. Oh, yeah, here we go. Beast mode. This guy. These, these guys are like oil dudes. Oh, I think I'm dead. I better not be dead. Better try and heal up. Oh shit. Let's try and get him on fire. Oh, he's not going on fire. I don't understand why. Let's see how we go here. Oh. Alright, we've got to heal up again. And not roll off the edge. I'm pretty sure there's an edge there, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Catch fireballs. He's not lighting up on fire. I killed him. I killed him. I thought I was dead. I'm lucky. <laughs> Alright, let's go put the coil in the ground at the uh, at the place. And I'll end it there. Oh, Dark Souls. What a legendary game. I'm just gonna leave all the items behind. I could fight the sword dude up the ramp. He's usually harder than the first boss, I think. So you put the coil sword in here when you first play the game. And then from there you can rest at it and then travel to the 
first High Wall of Lothric area. But yes, this this lady will let us level up. But guys, if you um, like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give us a thumbs down. Hopefully this has helped you. I'll see you next time with some more content. Hello guys, it's Batty Made here. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you hated it, give us a thumbs down. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.